Hey everyone, this is Scott with Casking. Look, if you do a lot of traveling and you like to spool up your spinning reels and casting reels while you're on the road, or maybe you're at a lake or you're fishing a pond and you need to re-spool one of your reels, we've got the perfect tool for you. This is the Casking Radius Line Spooler. It's very small, very lightweight, fits into a tackle bag, fits into your pocket. Uh, you can take it with you anywhere and it's gonna spool your spinning reels without any line twist and also your casting reels. Let me take you through all the features. The Radius line spooler is very small and lightweight, so you can take it almost anywhere. We include a T-handle, which stores right inside the line spooler, and this is used to mount spools of fishing line to the line spooler after it's clamped up to your rod. We also have injected rubber around the mounting holes, which attach to your rod, just to make sure we don't damage your rod when you're using the line spooler. And finally, we include two of the casking line bosses. Now this is used to apply tension to your line as you're spooling your rods and reels. And it's also used um, to store line as well. So this will help manage your line, make sure your line doesn't uncoil off the reels when you've got a loose spool of line. To spool a spinning reel, you want to first remove the T-handle and just set it aside. Then you want to open it up to clamp onto your rod and the easiest way to do that is put your finger in this top hole then push with your thumb on the top and that'll release the latch on the top of the radius so you can open it up and then you can clamp it onto your rod. So you, there's two sides to the radius line spooler. One has a protrusion where your spool is mounted for spinning reels and the other is the casking logo. So you want to make sure the casking logo is on the tip side of your rod and then you clamp it onto your rod above the stripper guide. Now in some cases, the rod blank may be too small. So it is okay to mount it below the stripper guide, but we recommend if possible, mount it above the stripper guide so you can run the line through the stripper guide back to your reel. Next, you wanna take one of the line bosses we provided, and you wanna run the line through the eyelet of the line boss, wrap the band around your spool of line, just like this. And then you take the sliding collar on the back side and you slide it all the way down and this will apply tension so you can adjust the tension you need as you're spooling up your reel. Next, using the T-handle, you want to mount the spool of line to the radius line spooler. Now this is very critical. You want to make sure the line is uncoiling off the spool and coiling onto your spinning reel in the same orientation so you don't get any line twists. And in order to do this, you run the T-handle through the spool, pull on the line, and the spool should spin clockwise direction. And we've actually molded that into the radius line spooler so you can easily be reminded which direction the spool should spin. Once you have all that figured out, then you just mount this directly onto the radius line spooler. Once you have the spool mounted on the radius, you wanna make sure that you don't over tighten, this spool needs to spin freely in order to work properly. Then you run the line through the line guide in the radius line spooler right here, then back through the stripper guide, and then back to your spool on your reel, tie it off and begin spooling away. Now if you need to adjust the tension, need more tension or less tension, it's really easy. You just take this uh, line boss and it has a sliding collar and you can slide it in farther to tighten it or slide it back to loosen it up. To spool a casting reel, the first thing you need to do is remove the T-handle. Then you wanna open up the radius line spooler and clamp it onto your rod. So the best way to do that is put your finger into this top hole, push with your thumb on the very top, and it releases the latch so you can open it up and clamp onto your rod. Now you wanna clamp this above the first guide if you can, in some cases, you might have a smaller diameter blank on your rod, and you might have to mount below the first guide, and that's okay, it should work just fine. Next, you wanna take one of the line bosses, and you wanna run the line through the eyelet on the line boss, and then wrap the band around the spool of line, and then you wanna tighten it down with the collar on the line boss, and this will help give you tension you can also use the line boss to kind of manage your line or your leader line to make sure the line does not uncoil off your spool when you're not using it. Next, you want to take your spool of line and your T-handle 
And you wanna first check to make sure the line is coming off the top of your spool. So it should come up off the top of your spool of line and directly onto the top of the spool on your casting reel. So you don't want any line twist. That way it comes off the top of one, onto the top of the other reel, and you won't have any line twists. So once you get that figured out, run the T-handle through the correct side of your spool, and then you just wanna slide this through the hole on the side of the radius. And we have a quick adjust latch over here. So you just slide this latch down, and that locks the T-handle in place. Now you wanna make sure you have plenty of play here on the spool. Don't over tighten it. Don't try and tighten it down so it won't move. It needs to spin freely. Once you have your spool of line mounted to the radius line spooler, then run the line through the first guide of your rod, then back to your casting reel, tie off to your casting reel, and then begin spooling up your casting reel and fill it up and you should be good to go. The Cast King radius line spooler. It's small, it's compact. You can take it anywhere. It's very easy to use. And you can go anywhere and spool up spinning reels and casting reels without any line twist. Go check it out.